I've never said this anywhere. I was suicide. I was dead for almost 24 hours. Don't let your man stop you from finding a soulmate in your gender. They just gist about you and another person's husband, another person's like. Hey homie, welcome back to my channel. How is it? What's happening? My name is Omi Odike Mwachiko and this is Talk to Your Homie TV, my darling. Here I like to give very sweet and juicy gist and guys. The gist I have for us today is, I don't know man, it's disturbing, it's smelling, it's messy. Oh my gosh, that's a clue, yeah? Messy, messy Aigbe. Yeah, we have this on Messy Aigbe. This one, I'm calling all the ladies and even men to judge this matter. I'm talking about Ami, hmm. It feels like Ari is about to tell us something that I'm like, babe, you got, you got to get confidence and say what you want to say. We talk about a saga. I love the move saga is making. Sweet move. And finally, Coco by Chloe. Today's juice is just crush your leg. But before I start, let me tell you about BB Niger and Zanzi and why I won't be covering it in all sincerity. Please subscribe to my channel because see, all I do here is give switches. And let's talk about BB Niger or BB and Zanzi. BB and Zanzi is... Um, Big Brother South Africa and um, he launched, I think he launched it on Sunday but I won't be talking about it because first of all they blocked Nigeria because the content that they are already giving us hints that they will be showing is banned by our own broadcasting company. NBC has banned such content. You get me? I love Big Brother. I like the show. I make money off it. I like to talk about the show. I cannot go and put my hand in what is going to bite me. You get? I mean, y'all know that I mean, I'm a God lover. I'm a Christian girl. I don't want Wahala. And I mean, if my country has banned it, banned it, why am I going to go and bear? Really, like, on TV, we can't see it. I can hustle, hustle, and look away. I can watch it too. But if my country has banned it, and I, from the first day of the show, I'm already seeing signs of interesting and funny things that might go on there. Let me know when I put my hand in soup that will burn me. You get, yeah. Anybody discussing it, enjoy. So South Africans, you guys enjoy. I think their government is more, their country really is more open. You get an access, uh, uh, open is the word I want to use, and flexible, okay, yeah, than we are, and it's okay, they should enjoy it. BB Ninja is always a hit, you know, I I'm sure that they will give us either BB Ninja or they will give us Big Brother Africa, whatever they do, when it comes to our land, I'll talk about that one, but right now, peace out to that one. Yeah, I have to address it because you might be wondering why I'm not talking about it. I don't cross my boundary, I don't want Wahala, you get me a hand, that, that's it, my dad, now let's start this thing. I want to talk about who do I talk about? Coco by Chloe first, yeah? Do you remember um, CC said there was this housemate called Chloe? Chloe was an interesting character, so interesting things she said and saying. I think it was last year. Last year she, she did her body, do you get me? She used to be a very dark melanin, that's what they call her, melanin, sweet color and slim let me not lie she was really really slim -o. but i love the way she used to carry her body on instagram before she did her body she just she, she really exuded to me a confident girl you know i do not even i i felt she was confident in her skin when i used to see her on instagram you know take pictures of herself very nice but apparently she wasn't as confident because she had to go and do her body now she has bigger butts really big butts in fact i actually love her curve i think she's one of the few people who have done their body that the result is just it looks so good so she now has big butt she now has um like boobs she even did her boobs so everything is now big and voluptuous and sexy and curvy yeah but she has come to come and view to us that she, she actually almost like killed herself committed suicide just after she did the surgery because somebody revealed her nude pictures i'm just like oh my gosh let's listen to what coco by chloe or rather chloe has to say about it i won't lie to you i'll be honest with you because you're my friend then eh? I'm still not over it because things keep coming. Mm. That was the surgery picture. Mm. That broke me. That really, really, really. Let's say there's a pressure of that one. It's just like, I don't want the fame. I want it to go. I just want to be a normal person. I just want to walk on the street and eat my popcorn and dance with people and play with kids the way I used to. But the surgery part took me half of this world to somewhere I can. I see I haven't come back from. I'm in oblivion. I don't even know how to get back from it. I always say to people that you can post anything about me on the picture, but I never want to see my naked picture on the picture on on on, in, on the net. So how did that picture I get will, out? I don't know. I don't know who the person is, but I know that person. God is angry the person. I'm sure. That one I'm sure about. I that one took me out. Mm -hmm. I've never said this anywhere. I was suicide. I was dead for almost 24 hours. 
thanks to Alex, banged on my door. My younger sister broke the door, dragged me to the hospital. Lydia, I, I drank the tour. Drank all the soap washer in the apartment, drank everything. I was ready to go. Mm-hmm. My fear is what will my parents say? It's not even about me. When people do this thing, they don't even know. You are not hurting the person. I'm like, if my mom sees this is over, I was gone. I was gone. I woke up, I saw Dremo, um, Anto, Alex, everybody. I'm like, because when the picture bro- got out, it was on the blogs, and you saw it. My friend sent it to me. I said, Chloe, go and check this number. I said, like, I said what's happening? Just I beg Jay, because I don't follow any blog. I blocked them was in that, advance. Was that picture post surgery? It was after my surgery when I was still unconscious. So whoever took the picture took it while I was lying unconscious. First of all, first of all, let me just address something here. Yeah. When, when this video was posted online, I actually went to the comment section and I was seeing people like they were dissing her because of her H factor, you know. When I mean, she said I was out of this world, you get me? And I'm just like, man, can we just can we get over all this before I even talk about this? Can we get over all this H factor thing? We are Nigerians. Every or like every culture has their own factors. Ibos, we have this R and L, you get me? I grew up in Lego, that's most likely why I don't have it. If I grew up in Anambra, I probably would be calling it R or L, you get me, like lies. But like, that's who we are. Do you get? It's okay. If somebody's calling, somebody has H factor, um, I was out of this one. Yeah, because we're Nigerians. What do you want? Us not to be Nigerians, or because, or we think we've gotten to Western that we cannot. Like, we're Nigerians, it's okay. Can we just move away from the fact that, oh, this person has a factor? It's okay. Oh, eh? So. But she's making her point clear. Last class, is English really our first? I mean, it is, but like, you get what I'm saying? Like, leave it, man. That's one. Secondly, I didn't see the picture she's talking about. And you know, the thing is, a lot of people, I, I don't think a lot of people saw the picture in all sincerity. So I, I don't know, but it's just, it's sad to hear that she literally almost took her life. Sometimes, some things that we do online, do you get me? Really, really, we might not know the effect that it has on people. I'm happy that she's alive today and can tell her story, do you get me? I'm really happy about that. However, what I would say is, but, but on Instagram, she, she pretty shows some skin, you get me? Like, looking at Chloe's Instagram, I never I saw her as somebody who would even flinch if her picture comes out because she, she's always showing what she can say on Instagram, you get me? Yeah, and, and I'm not trying to, I'm happy she's alive, but I did not even like take her that the kind of person that would almost kill herself because she, nah, I, I wouldn't. But it's good to know that she's good right now, man. And like I say, or, or let me say now, it's good also for influencers who do their body to say that I did my body. Do you get me? That way, it takes pressure off people who have normal bodies because from time immemorial body shaming has been a thing people who are really really slim don't like that they're really really slim people who are very curvy don't like it and my sister used to have my sister i won't say used to have growing up she had like big hips when i was younger she did not like she used to cover her hips you know we've always had that body shaming thing so i feel like it's just good that if you do your body well okay i did my body you so, so that's and I mean, no pressure, you don't have to come and say, I did my body, but I'm, I'm just saying that so that the normal person who is looking at another, like an influencer whose body is perfect, will not be feeling, oh my God, I want to die because that person did her body. Whatever it is, I'm happy she's alive. And let's be easy with people sometimes, you get me? Like, yeah. Next, Jesus talk about Ari and what Ari had to say. Oh my gosh, listen. Ari comes in line to give, we call this one relationship advice or words because it was quite confusing, my darling. She says, don't let your man stop you from finding a soulmate, dot, 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 in your gender. Obviously, she's talking to ladies. This kind of message really is talking to a particular person. You get me exactly. Don't let your man stop you from finding your soulmate in your gender hmm. i don't know somebody had to come to the conversation to come and say if you won't come out come out with your full chest because you see at the, this her message just means one thing really really it means one thing she knows who she's talking to anybody who's smart can get what this message is trying to say but what do you think 
Did I mean, I mean, in the house, I mean, it was one person who was even trying to count score. That she, was, she, she, would, she was counting how many guys that she has kissed in the house. I, I noticed that well. She was counting, I've kissed, it is now five, it is now four, it is now, again, she was counting it a lot. But if she's not coming to tell ladies or a lady or whoever she's telling, don't let your man. See, what I'll just say is, eh, in this life, know who you are. Hmm? Have your own value for yourself. Hmm? Don't allow anybody, anybody pressure you into doing what you don't want to do. Hmm? Sometimes you can make mistakes or even explore in life doing things, right? But still know who you are and what you want out of life. That's what I'm going to say. Know what you want out of life. Hmm? And stick to your guns. Whatever your core is telling you, believe it whatever your core is telling you believe it and don't allow people yeah to influence you into owning what you are not that's literally what i'm gonna say if you have ears here you make mistakes in life you explore in life when you're young you can do things yeah when you're young i cannot lie but remember who you are the values you have in the core of your being what it is, what that core is calling you towards that's what i would say but what's your opinion please talk about it in the comment section my darling let's quickly talk about saga before i get to messy aigbe zone because messy aigbe zone we have to just put it's, it's messy oh, but let's talk about saga for a minute i love how saga is taking this is like exercise in fact it's gyming thing i love it a lot i think that I think that we are in the era where you cannot be ashamed of what you're doing. It's better to be doing what you love to do than to just be online on Instagram posting pictures and there's no hand work to show for it. Do you get me? I've said this time and time again. I don't understand how somebody has 1 million followers and all you just do is just take pictures. You are not even trying to be an influencer. All you just do is just post pictures and be fine and you have one million followers you're wasting it like and then you know we get to question how you're making your money but that's on the side yeah anyway saga so saga is owning this whole gym thing a lot and i love it he's done like challenges upon challenges on like okay um five squats ten sit up whatever whatever and so 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 what he's now doing is he's now inviting his ibn Niger housemates his housemates really or his fellow housemates to come and gym with him and he's recording that process i think it's a very very smart one look at what i saw today when i saw this post i was just like saga is smart man we got to give it to saga like no talk listen just come and see he's doing this thing with cross and it says saga versus cross fitness challenge so it's called saga fitness face of saga versus cross who's going to win and it's showing on youtube dope way to create content dope way to make because i mean youtube pays you dollars like don't even joke man youtube pays you money. i mean it's a lot of work i can't lie you got to put an offering you got to be you, you have to be active but it's just good to see that he's taking he's not just doing the exercise thing he's actually being creative about it then i mean he also was in the gym with sammy and that was that was so beautiful watch these videos see who came to work out with saga see who came to work out with saga yeah. You're gonna cry today. Oh my God. You're gonna <laughs> cry today. Oh my God. It's about to be a bloody match, bro. Hey, how far? What you say, bro? Saga, motivator. Yes, sir. Oh, oh God. Hey, let's go fuck with you. You're fucking with no one else for the next five days. You fucking with your leg. You laying in bed with your leg, bro. No more bitches for you, bro. <laughs> you fucking with your leg. <laughs> Sit. Mother I said, sit. Sammy, sit for me. Don't lock it. Don't lock your knee. Saga. Go down, go down, go down, go down. You're on video. Exactly. Saga. 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 Hey, 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 hey. Tommy boy, let's go, let's go, let's go, hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. You want, eh? 
You want to join God? I was saying in this life, eh, own own your hustle. If if that's your hustle, own it. Don't be shy of what you're doing. Can you see Prince? The saloon guy, you get me like, but see how he has cleaned himself up. I just feel like that's that's the way to go. You get me, just own it, man, and don't be shy of it. If your hustle is to make pop, make pop and brand it and put it in, you know, um, um, what's it called, stores, you know, like just. You cannot be living life where you don't want to own it. You're shy of your hustle, but you're hungry. Like, who are you doing yourself? Oh, yeah. On that note, let's discuss Messi Aigbe's gist. Oh, man, this gist is so it's so heartbreaking. Now, listen, it's all alleged here yeah, because Messi Aigbe has not spoken, like, has not come to come and say, Oh, yeah, this is hear me. But now, what happened? The gist that broke out yesterday and even today, it is still hot. Social media is on fire. Internet is on fire based on Messi Aigwe. Messi Aigwe was married to Gentry, and then all of a sudden, just came out that he was beating her. It was so crazy. Messi Aigwe even went to uh, do brain brain scan, I mean brain something that he was beating her. The guy, the, her husband or ex-husband rather, accused her of cheating. Of course, she said she wasn't cheating. Ha 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 ha. I mean, she's a married woman. You get me? Yeah. Now, what happened? Gist Lover is a blog on Instagram. Gist Lover has been carrying hints that Mr. Igbe is dating another woman's husband. She has been carrying it to the hint that the, that, that the man, allegedly, because no one is sure, really, that the man is the owner of Ibaka. She has been carrying the gist, carrying the, carrying the gist for a while. Everybody, because even me, Gist Lover, just, I used to wait till like, I see proof. I don't just jump on it. No, 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 I don't. But that Gist Lover did. Anyways, so the man's birthday was on Monday. Now on Sunday, Mr. Igbe now goes to her Insta, her WhatsApp to post the man and say, ah, it's, it's going to be my boo's birthday very soon. Just like now comes and carries with the, ah, look at her. She's wishing on that woman's husband happy birthday on WhatsApp. Why can't she come on Instagram? Just like now put the picture, put everything. Mr. Igbe now comes on Instagram now put the picture of the man. Before we knew what was even happening, we heard that Messi Aigbe and the man have actually done engagement. Now, before we could even take all that in, a picture now surfaced. Do you know what it is? So apparently, when Messi Aigbe was still married to the gen gentry, and this man, I think this man's name is Adebaz or something like that, he was still married to his own wife. They were all like friends, though. Like they were all, they all like had like. Mr. Igbe and I was born, man and the wife, they were all like family friends. Look at the picture they took together. Just imagine taking a picture with your husband and another couple, but then allegedly, hey, there are things going down behind the scene. Is that not even crazy? Now, when this picture is still there, her, her ex-husband now comes to say, ah, listen, let me tell you exactly what her ex-husband was. That was the one that now broke me. I was just like, wait, 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 what? I mean, this is really true. He comes to come and say, at last, I thank God the truth is out. This is just one out of many. To God be the glory. So, of course, I'm sure he's trying to say that. Maybe people thought I was just mad when we were having the truth. When, when we saw I was beating her, be, thank God that the truth is now out. I'm somebody who likes to give benefit of a doubt. I, I, I would just be like, because you don't really know exactly what it is. Because, I mean, looking at that picture when the both families were together, it kind of kind of as presumes that maybe things were going down while Messi was even still married to Gentry. But I'm just like, okay, maybe that, we never know here. Yeah? And then, now, when, when celebrities now come, just listen, you know, because I mean, Messi Aigbe now puts the guy's picture on Instagram. Hinting, hinting heavily that they, they are now together. You know, today though, today she's writing like Alaji and Hajiya Kazim Adioti. Like they're engaged for real. She's engaged on another person's husband. Allegedly. Now, the woman, the, the man's real first wife now comes online to say, losing someone who doesn't respect you or appreciate you is actually a gain and not a loss. Thank you all. That means everybody must be in her comment. And this woman has three children for this man. Mr. Ibe also has children for her own ex-husband before. Man. Now, celebrities are now going to Mr. Ibe's comment section to go and hype her. That, ah, okay, you know, when they see the picture and her and her new man. Ah, what's up? Well, you know, hey, congratulations. Well, let me now tell you one funny one. Listen, there's this girl called Nkechi Blessing. Nkechi Blessing is obviously hyping Mr. Ibe because, ah, uh, yeah. 
So someone else says, Nkechi, bless you, no worry. Now, now we go snatch up where that's her own husband. Now we go snatch up where from your hand. Watch out. Nkechi now comes to say, ah, I see no cuckoo cost. So you are in the comments celebrating somebody who's allegedly causing katakata in another person's home. Someone now comes to come and tell you that, hey, we'll come and snatch your own, but you want to pour acid. It's just, as, as in, hmm. But while I was still trying to understand what I was even going to make out of this whole thing, yeah, I saw this post from Shade Ladipo, and I'm just like, yeah, let's talk about this. She says, so you see a married man with a whole family, and you camp there. You don't see your words beyond being second fiddle or a possible family destroyer. How are you even attracted to a married man? Ugh, if you're above 30 and still sleeping with a married man, then I feel sorry for you. Under 30, you're still foolish, so I excuse your behavior. Sorry, because you don't know your worth. And you know, I just feel like we need to just talk as women, right? And now, this must I guess something, I'm, I'm saying alleged because I am not really there. I don't really know. Messi can come for all we know. She'll come and say, the man was already divorced with her, his wife when I met him. You get me? She can come and say, the man was already having issues with his wife. We don't know exactly. This is just how it presumes. Yeah? It, it still looks smelly, obviously, but let's talk in, in the light of this Shade's post now and people still sleeping with married men. You know, as, as a growing girl, I understand when you feel the need to want to date a man for money because somehow we've been taught that men are to take care of us that's how that's what we've been taught as a young girl if your boyfriend is never buying you gifts and things you you just feel like something is wrong really you just feel like uh -uh, why is he not buying you gifts so every girl wants to date the richest guy around because we want because we want to be, we want to be treated like princesses and queens and we want gifts we want to be cherished we want all that thing yeah but let me also state something, right? That mentality of we, we have to date the richest guy, the guys must take care of us. That mentality can, can, it, can it, it, it's, it's very disastrous. Let me just tell you right now. It is. It can make you lose your own husband because you might be dating somebody who might not really have money right now and you just think it's wrong because you must date somebody that has money. The grace of God is upon every human being that works hard. You, like, we're making it look like as women, we, ca we, we, are, we cannot work hard. All we need to just do is just depend on the men. Like, a woman... I mean, because Mr. Egbe, I haven't thought she was a hustler. She acts a lot of movies. She came one time, I think when she got a house or something, and there was a rumor again that it was somebody that got her the house. They even bought her the proof as to how it was the guy that got her that bought her the house. She came and said that, eh, she has a whole boutique. She sells dresses when she's in London carrying things on her head. And you know, you want to listen to that kind of person. Okay, okay, really, maybe she's really hustling. But then how come you're always in the mix of, it's always you and they're just, they're just gist about you and another person's husband, another person's, like, as a woman, you can work hard, eh, and make money and take care of yourself. You don't always have to wait for a man to take care of you. You don't always have to. The same God that is blessing the men, it's blessing the women. So why is it that a large chunk of us just believe that we must depend on the men? It's, it's, it's wrong teaching. As when I was younger, I, I used to have that mentality too because somehow, I don't, I, I don't know how it's being spread, but somehow when you are young, that's what you would see valentine's day when um, your friends are getting gifts and you're not getting gifts you feel bad so you don't want to be single for the next valentine oh valentine's day if you can take yourself out take yourself out nobody cares if you want to feel good on valentine's day and you have a guy that cannot take care of you you can carry him out and go and eat up it, it doesn't make you foolish it makes you just value yourself it makes you not let go of somebody who is good because of money if a guy is ticking all the boxes he cares for you and care is not only about money because i think i think somebody needs to tell us women you get me because this is how we keep growing and growing and we just believe that a man has to just take care of it's not true it's not true see it's an addition to you if you have a man that has money. Beautiful. 
But don't die. Don't want to break somebody else's home. Don't bring sorrow to your fellow woman because you want to stick at the woman's husband. Why? Like, as in, who are, what, what are we talking? Who are we as women? We fight each other, putting another woman through misery because you want to take her own. Oh, do you think if you take another woman's own, do you think that the man is going to just stay there for only you? Don't you think the same way you were able to take him, someone else would take him? Or you think that what? Okay, because he was in his in, in the woman's house and you were able to take him. Now, now you, you no. Mm, stop. You can work hard and make your own money and take care of yourself. Really, you can, I'm telling you that it's the same God that's blessing men, that's blessing women. No. I won't even go deeper. Just I'm saying, I'm saying I'm alleged, but let's even go. The, I heard that the man owns Ibaka. What's Ibaka? Ibaka is a platform where they watch movies. You get me? But you're an actress. You too. Why can't you create your own? Look at this lady, um, um, Mary Njoku. Yeah, it's when she met her husband that she, you know, stared the whole, um, yeah, rock. And the man owns Iroko. But my point is, it's doable. Yeah, look, like, why? Why can't you create your own? Why? See, I don't know who told us as ladies that, yes, it's true. The man takes care of us. Yes, yes, it's true. But have you read the story of the virtuous woman? Even men. Because when we hear virtuous woman, we do, we, we do. The woman was the breadwinner of the home. Go and read it again. She was in bread, she was the one taking care of the home. The man literally had to be at home taking care of, you know, of course, his family, that's his children. But she was the one. She owned land, she owned um, helps. She was industrious. There's grace upon your life to be industrious. Don't see. I'm th one day I had to sit myself down and tell myself that, oh, me see, you know what? Yeah, it's good to get a man that has money and taking care of you. Yeah, but I've been a hustler since like, I've known myself. I was working when I was in university. I was, I can't lie. Yeah, I, was, I, I was working from 100 level. Cause my dad died. I did not have any other things or any other excuse. I had to work. So why am I now coming to now expect a man to take all my bills? No, obviously I have grace upon my head. I go for an interview, like I get the job. I've created talk to you me out of, out of just my, my mind from writing stories. You get me like, there's so much in you. What's happening right now? Ladies are all, like you can see they are all sleeping with the same men. How many? How many of these men have a lot of money like that? Let's. What's the percentage of men that are really wealthy? And all the ladies are chasing after all those men. They are all sleeping with the same. Like, stop. Look at your own self and say, okay, what can I do? There's some, the Bible says, if you till your land, you will find gold. Did, did you not say if the man tills his land? He said if you, anyone, whoever tills, till let his land. Y'all, focus on what do you have that you can offer. Push yourself, man. Ah, uh -uh. don't, don't, don't buy that thing that oh, a man has to take care of me. Don't. If you don't have a job, what else can you do? Think of it and do it. I have a friend who I know somebody who makes who makes shoes. She makes, she makes, she, she used to go and work with all these abokis. She said it. That now, she has pimped herself up. Think of what you can do. Don't, because the more you keep waiting for the rich man, your time is going. The, 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 there are people who have potentials. And nobody knows. I, I, just, I just want to just say it out of my heart. Yeah? No, but we really have no idea, like, so people's parts. Maybe some people, they said, okay, maybe God has said, oh, when you're 30, you're going to be you're going to be rich and when the guy is 28 is on your case but he doesn't really have money but you can see that he's working hard you'll be like no i don't want him until i must get somebody that has money you would now leave somebody who can go you can tell that this guy has money he will take care of you and you'll be with somebody who has money by treating you like rubbish i don't know who gave us that mentality but we need to stop it stop it man i'm not saying you should go and be a slave go and be a fool spend your money but if you want to have a good time and your account you have the money to have a good time honey take that money and have a good time take care of yourself don't deprive yourself of pleasure because you don't have a man who can do it for you be happy on your own when you're happy you bring happiness to you and let the man's money not be the reason why you're picking a man look for other valuable things respect hard working creative god fearing you know caring yeah man because it's just all money the man must have money i'm a rich man rich man that's making people just 
do things shamelessly. There's no shame anymore. What is all this, man? So, and I say allegedly because I don't know. You get me, but like, so even so even so single girls are threats. Married women too are threats. Like, what are we doing to ourselves? What are, what are we doing to each other as women? What are we doing to each other as women? What, what, as in, when did we get like this? Like. I just had to come and say it, man. But what do you have to say about this matter? Please put your mouth in the matter because I just want to, I really want to go to the comment section here and hear what you have to say about this matter because huh, it's a lot, man. But what do you have to say? Like I said, everything is alleged. I'm telling you everything I've seen online, but I, I feel like I need to talk to my sisters. I think that we've been programmed wrongly and so it's affecting us. We need a reprogramming in our mind and I have to just say, state it out here. But I don't tell your opinion, my darling. Don't forget to have a vlog channel because see, this is my own hustle too. So help me. Eh, eh, eh. I have a vlog channel called Talk to Your Homie Vlog. They are showing you my life. And I mean, if you go there and watch videos, you get me more views, uh, you know, and watch advert, obviously. I'd make money and uh, I can push myself too because it's my own hustle, you get me? Support your girl. Yeah, so it's called Talk to Your Homie Blog. And I mean, I'm never trying to even gas you. It's really interesting. I show you guys my life, like, unfiltered without all this makeup because I can't make it up every day for seven. It's a lie. Like, when I wake up in the morning and I carry my camera, there's no makeup on my face. But, like, I promise you, my energy there is sweet yeah i'll put a link down below to my latest vlog you need to go and check it out and watch it and enjoy oh there uh, in that vlog i actually like had like a very sweet um treat oh my god you love it i'll put a link down below please go there and watch it and i also have a channel for men where we have real ass conversation man about our values in life well where we where we just talk about ourselves you know that channel pennywise i tell you the raw facts and what god wants your life to really look like so that you not be confused by the world because the world can be confusing you get me there that's like where we have real truthful conversations it's called pennywise please go down below i'll put a link down below to to, to our little episode of pennywise you need to check it out i promise you you will enjoy it really so yeah go and check it out i love you my next video I am telling you the movies in Nollywood to look out for. I'm a big Nollywood person. I can't lie. I love Nigerian movies, yeah? And I saw two trailers. I'm just like, hmm. They were very excited. That will be the next video you will see after this one. So just you will say, click here and watch it so you can be updated. Don't go and do yourself. Will you get me? I love you so much. Thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye.